quantum mechanics has puzzled scientists and philosophers for more than a century. But nowadays, the supposed weirdness is mostly demystified by the fact that we can engineer and build powerful quantum systems to do almost anything we want. We can build quantum computers, quantum communication systems, and quantum sensors. But certain things do remain a little bit challenging to accept. It's perfectly normal to have an electron in a superposition of being in two places at the same time. But how big an object can you be put in a quantum superposition state? There is a famous paradox devised by one of the founding fathers of quantum mechanics, Urban Schrödinger. He imagined a cat placed in a sealed box. His life is determined by random quantum events that may or may not happen. So it may or may not kill the cat, and we can't see inside the box to check how the cat is doing. So, is the cat near quantum superposition of being both dead and alive? We recreated this paradox in a real-world experiment. But of course, we didn't want to risk the life of this beautiful cat. So instead, we made a Schrodinger cat out of the nucleus of an atom of antimony. The atom of antimony is implanted in a silicon electronic device, not too different from the ones you use every day in your laptops and mobile phones. This device allows us to control and read out the quantum state of the nucleus of the atom. It's like having an atomic scale cat trapped in a silicon box and we have all the tools needed to manipulate its life or death. I know what you're thinking. An atom is much smaller than an actual cat. And you're right. But it turns out that the antimony atom is just big enough to show all the striking properties of quantum superpositions of macroscopically different states. <laughs> We started the experiment with a dead cat, meaning the atom oriented fully downwards. Then, we applied a series of radio frequency pulses to start the process of resuscitating the cat from the dead state to the alive state, pointing fully upwards. We carefully calibrated the pulses to make the process only go halfway to have an atomic cat in superposition, dead and alive. This may already seem strange enough, but then, we did something even more bizarre and more unique. Starting with that cat again, we turn it on its side. Then we twist it across its back. The twisting action results in a half-dead, half-alive cat turned on its side. And then we turn it one more time and arrive again at the superposition of the atomic cat being dead and alive. The final result, the Schrodinger cat dead and alive, is the same as before. But the twisting action is both instantaneous and free from out. This way of making Schrodinger cast state is very efficient and produces quantum state are almost perfect. This is not just about the intellectual curiosity of making a quantum superposition of an atomic scale cat being dead and alive. These quantum states are amazing resources for quantum computation. We can encode a bit of quantum information in this atomic cap. Zero is dead, one is alive, and we've shown we can do superpositions of dead and alive, superposition of zero and one. But the important point is that this superposition is macroscopic. There is a lot of space between the zero and the one, and that space can be used to detect and correct the errors that can happen during a quantum computation. Performing efficient quantum error correction is the most important thing to build powerful, useful quantum computers.